Hey, Mom. Hey, honey, how you doing? Let me guess, you have to work late tonight and you're not gonna be back until after 10. I'm so sorry. I know I promised to take you out to dinner tonight, but we just got slammed. Uh, there is some Chinese food in the fridge, though. So how was school? Oh, it was incredible. My teacher loved the high contrast photo I took downtown. Oh, yeah, those were great. Mom, he didn't go out since I'm new to that festival in Paris. Wow. Let's go to Europe. You and me? Yeah. We can go to the festival, pick up the award, and then hit the road in the convertible. <laughs> OK, I'm in. Now we just need to win the lottery to pay for the trip. Hey, um, did you pick up the mail today? Uh-uh. Well, why don't you go downstairs and, you know, see what's down there? No, you did not get that lens that I was looking at. That is way too expensive. Hey, let me decide what is too expensive. Just go. <laughs> Check the mail. This is the last of it. <clears throat> oh, I cannot wait to show you the new bedspread I bought. Come on. I think I have unpacked enough for us to at least have breakfast tomorrow. I have to get up at 4 so I can get to the hospital by 6, so I'm going to go to bed. Good night, baby. Mm -hmm. Did you lock the back door? Yeah. What about the windows? Yes, honey. Hey, this place is going to be really great. I don't know how I'm gonna pay for it, but it's worth it. This summer, we're gonna have so much fun. And then in the fall, you are gonna go to a terrific new high school and meet a bunch of new friends. Sweetie, the police shot that awful man. He can't hurt you anymore. This is a safe neighborhood. We're gonna be okay here. Don't stay up too late. Nothing to worry about. Will you will you sleep in my room tonight? Sure, honey.
do you think? All right, give it a little more gas. Hey, give it a little more gas. Nice. How's that? A little more. Now we're getting somewhere. Yeah! Come on. You don't have to leave. Are you sure we can't talk about this? Come on. Out of my way. How's that? That's good. That's good. That's working now. There, nice, nice. I love it. I love it. I love it. Awesome. That's what I'm talking about. Uh-oh. Turn it off. You owe me a hundred bucks. Nick. Oh, shit. Mrs. Miller, I know what you're gonna say, and I'm done for the day. It's not about today. It's about tomorrow, and the next day, and the next month. You see, I work from home, mm -hmm. so I need to be able to have a phone conversation with a client and be able to hear them. Well, I'm sorry, all right? I'm just doing a favor for some friends of mine. A favor? Yeah. You're running a business out of your garage. I'm not running a business. Come on, Nick. And Lisa, relax. It's not a big deal. Look at this place. I mean, are you kidding me? Do you have any idea what you're doing to the property values around here? I'll tell you this, this is one piece of property that you don't have your hands on yet, Mrs. Miller. All right. Yeah. I've asked you nicely. Next time, I'm calling the cops. Go right ahead. I'm shaking in my boots, Mrs. Miller. Boss and everybody. Ugh, this is ridiculous. I agree. Hey, how are you? Great. Glad to hear it. Kristen, coming. Hey. Uh, I'm Lisa Miller. I live across the street. I just wanted to welcome you to the neighborhood. Hi, I'm Jody. Hi, Jody. Um, I made you some cookies. <laughs> Thank you. So, are your parents home? I would like to say hello. It's just my mom. She's at work. Okay, well, tell her I drop by, okay? Are you all right? Sweetie, what's the matter? Someone just stole my camera. What? 
Are you serious? This area is so safe. I mean, we never have burglaries out here. I'm sorry, I'm just a little freaked out right now. Don't apologize. You want to come over to my house? You can stay with us until she gets back. No, that's, that's very kind of you, but I'll be okay. Listen, why don't you and your mom come over tomorrow? You can have lunch with me and my niece, Kristen. You'd like her. Okay, I'll, I'll ask my mom. Great. Just let me know. Here's my number, okay? Thank you. Where did you live before you moved here? West Hollywood. Oh, I love West Hollywood. Why'd you guys leave? No! We had a condo. We, um, we needed more space. Mm -hmm. So, Kristen, I take it you live in L.A.? No, I live here. Oh, I thought you were just visiting your Aunt Lisa for the summer. This is my home now. My parents are gone. Her mom passed away last year. I'm so sorry. I asked Kristen if she would want to come live with me, and well, I'm just glad she said yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, you should take Jody with you next weekend. Oh, that's a great idea. You'd love it. What? Oh, our church. They have this retreat. It's up Angeles Crest. It's so fun. They have hiking and volleyball and all the fun stuff. Yeah, the van's going to pick me up next Saturday morning. OK, I'll, I'll think about it. Oh, you should go. That sounds really great. Mom, mm -hmm. I said I will think about it. Okay. Not again. Have you talked to his parents? He's a single father. He's in the oil business in Dubai. That's enough. I am so sorry, Andrea. At least, so what are you doing? Calling the police. I'm the one that called the police. I'm Lisa Miller. Where you live? Okay. How are you doing today? You Nick? Yeah. Okay. Nick, you want to step out of the car for me? I'm not trying to bother anybody, officer. I'm just working on my buddy's car. He's step out. always a bother. Always. always. So do me a favor, you guys stand That guy next to my camera. You're the trouble. He was the only one around when I noticed it was missing. You should go tell the cop. We received a number of complaints about I'm not going to introduce myself to our next door neighbor by accusing him of burglary. I'll just, I'll just ask the cop to come over and we can talk in private. It doesn't have to be a big deal. Please. Okay. Son, I need you to calm down. Just take it from me, okay? And if we get any more complaints, you're going to have to come back here and arrest you. You understand? Yeah, 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 whatever. Miss Miller, stay back, please. I just wanted to talk to you about something that happened in the house. We live across the So you think somebody stole your camera? Yesterday, I was outside taking pictures, and the phone rang, so I put the camera down, came in to answer it, and when I went back out, it was gone. What kind of camera is it? A DSLR with 75 to 300 zoom lens. Is it anything like that camera out there? What? Officer, I am so sorry to bother you. Not a problem. I hope she gets some great pictures. Thank okay? you. Well, that was embarrassing. Mom, I, I checked the backyard, I checked the house, everywhere. I swear, it wasn't there. Well, what do you think happened? I think Nick stole it and then put it back. Why would anybody do that? Sweetie, it's a new house. It's a new neighborhood. You're still recovering. You know, what happened to you at our old apartment? It's going to take you a while to get over that. I still see him. In your dreams. In my mind. Every time I go in a dark room or or I open a door, 
It's like he's gonna be there, but he's not. I never should have worked late that night. Oh, don't say that. No, I'm your mother. I'm supposed to protect you. I should have been there. I, um, I have to do some shopping. Do you want to go with me? I just want to check my camera. Okay, sweetie. speaking with? This is Nick. Who is this? Hey, Mom. I can prove it. Prove what, honey? That Nick stole my camera. Remember when I got a call and there was nobody on the line? Well, I checked the phone records. Hold on. Oh my God, he's at the door. You don't have to open it. Do you want me to come home? I will if you want me to. In fact, honey, I'm just gonna come home. I'll be there in 10 minutes. No, it's okay. I'll, I'll just, I'll see what he wants. Jody, Mom, don't worry. I'll, I'll be all right. You call my house? Did you call me? Why did you steal my camera? Oh, because you were taking pictures of me and you didn't ask me if you could. How did you get our house number? The internet. Reverse address. So you called our house, made me go inside to answer it, and then hopped the fence and stole my camera? That's right. <laughs> You're good. And then you put it on the back porch and made me look like an idiot. No, 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 no. I, well, I didn't mean to make you look like an idiot, but if that happened, I'll consider it a bonus. I'm going to tell the cops what you did. Wow. First Lisa and now you. Terrific. Go right ahead and call the cops. And I'll show them the pictures you took of me. Half naked. Yeah, I downloaded your camera files onto my hard drive. So while I'm at it, I'll show the rest of the neighborhood the pictures you took of them. Ted's wife, across the street, she's a lawyer. She, she'd love to see him. So, um, you sure you want to call the cops? Or you just want to call it even? Even. <laughs> I'm Nick. Tuesday sounds good. Yeah. This is gonna be so much fun. Yeah. Hey. 11 a.m. I'll be there. Bye. out my new lens. Cool. Well, I'll be down at the hospital in about an hour. You sure everything's okay? Everything's fine, Mom. Call me if you need me. All right. Bye. Bye. What? I just saw someone. Or I, I thought I did. Downstairs. Oh, hold, hold on. You were watching my house? Oh, I was taking pictures of the street, and then I saw you in your bedroom, and then I looked in the window, and I saw the shadow of someone. Are you serious? Yes. Let's just go to my house and no, call no, the no, police. No, 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 Hang on, hang on. 
Just give me a second. Wait, wait, Lisa, don't! Are you sure you saw someone? Yes. It was a shadow. Male? Female? I don't know. The shades were closed. Wait here. I'll check the garage. There's nobody down here. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I, I, at least I thought. Uh, look, let, let's just get out of here. I'm gonna check upstairs. I'm calling the cops. No, 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 no. Just give me a minute. nobody here. Oh, look. Look at this. Is this what you saw? I must have walked in front of it. Maybe. I'm sure that's what you saw. I'm sorry to bother you. Oh, no, no. Honey, it's okay. I really appreciate your concern. Did you have fun? Yeah, it was so funny. You have to come with us the next time we go on one of these camping trips. And at least I'm back. They did this improv show. It was so hysterical. This guy, he talks totally monotone, like he's got one brain cell and he has a scene partner, was talking like a mile a minute. And Lisa, you upstairs? 
Anyway, they're on this gurney and they're acting like he's giving birth completely in drag. It was so funny. Jody? Jody? Where'd you go? Oh my god. Are you up here? Don't come in! Oh my god. Can't leave so what's wrong? No, what's wrong with her? I I I I need an ambulance. 8672, uh Via Kalina's in Santa Clarita. Lisa, wake up! Oh, my friend, she's bleeding. Oh, she's not go. breathing. We, we need an ambulance right now. Hurry! <laughs> Detective, I, I saw something on Saturday night that I think you should know about. As fast as I could. Oh my God. Are you okay? I was so worried about you. Hi, uh, Detective Franklin. Oh, uh, uh, Andrea Allen. Yeah. Jody's mother. As you were saying? I saw someone in the house. I, I think it was an intruder. About what time? Around 10. I was across the street in my room taking some pictures of the neighborhood. I saw Lisa in the upstairs window, and then I, I saw somebody else in the downstairs window. You were taking photographs of people's homes that night? Yeah. Is that illegal? It's an invasion of privacy. Next time you do that, you, you should ask your neighbors for permission. Anyway, is that the window with the shades closed? I saw a shadow, a, a silhouette. That's a long ways to see at night. I know what I saw. Well, did you take a picture of the shadow? No, I didn't. Okay, Jody. so when you saw this shadow person, what did you do then? I ran over and I rang the doorbell. Lisa answered and we looked around, but we, we didn't find anybody. Why didn't you call the police? Because Lisa didn't want me to. She wasn't worried like I was. I mean, I, I even tried calling her this morning and nobody answered. And that's why I waited for Kristen to get home. I watched the house all day and Lisa never came out. Thanks, I'll mention that in my report. I think the guy next door did it. Nick? Now, is that the same Nick Tompkin that's running a business out of his house without a permit? Yeah. Lisa called the cops on him, and Nick got really mad at her. If anyone from the neighborhood would kill her, it would be him. Well, we'll talk to him. We'll be talking to everybody on the spot. When Forensis comes back with the report in a couple days, we'll have a better assessment. Oh, my God, Kristen, I'm so sorry. Come here. Oh. Can I stay with you guys just for a few days? Yes, of course. You stay as long as you need to, OK? I'm not going into work tomorrow, OK? I'm going to be here all day. Thank you, Miss Allen. You try and get some rest. I want to talk to her. Let her rest. But, Mom, I'm telling you, somebody was in her house that night. Shh, keep your voice down. She doesn't need to hear that. She's suffering enough. And why did you incriminate the boy across the street? Well, what if he did do it? Then the police will find evidence to support that. Will you please stay out of it? Let them do their job? I can't believe you said that to the cop. Oh, well, I'm sorry if I embarrassed you, Mom. I'm not embarrassed. Forget the fact that I'm the one who found Lisa on the bathroom floor today. I didn't know I was supposed to be worried about how you felt. I I'm sorry. Just leave me alone. I need to talk to you. You scared me. I overheard you talking to your mom. You saw somebody in the house Saturday night? Look, I shouldn't have said anything. Please, I need to know what you saw. Kristen, my mom was right. I mean, you've been through enough already. You don't need to be worried about this. It was only a shadow. Is that it? Did you see a face? 
I, I couldn't see who it was. And it was only for a split second. Suppose I was right. Suppose somebody did kill her. I want to catch the guy, don't you? Yeah, but who would want to kill her? I think it was Nick. Jody, come on. Lisa completely shut down his business. Nick was really mad. We all saw it. Yeah, but Nick wouldn't kill her. It was probably just an accident, like the cops said. I, I just, I just can't accept that. The cops should be, I don't know, they should be watching him. Thank you. For what? For trying to help. I'm gonna go back to bed. So what do you think? Yeah, they're in good condition. When I get them, I stole them. What kind of question is that? Do what you want. I mean, you can melt them down, sell them on the black market. I don't care. Okay, I'm coming right now. <clears throat> your car shop. Well, uh, that's sort of why I'm doing this. Looks like I gotta shut it down. This way, Nikki. Let's see. looking for you. Hey, hey, come here. Hey, 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 I'm, what, hey, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm your neighbor, okay? Why, why are you following me? I'm not following you. You come here a lot. Oh, okay. What's going on back there? Well, what do you think's going on back there? Oh, say it. You're selling her jewelry. Wait, what? What do you mean? Lisa, you stole her jewelry and now you're pawning. Whoa, 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 whoa. I stole her jewelry? I saw someone in her house the other night. Oh, my God. You were mad at her because she shut down your business, so you decided to get revenge. You sound just like that cop. Well, why are you talking to me like this? You snuck in, killed her, stole her jewelry, and now you're pawning it. <laughs> I killed her? 
Not only are you way off base, but you are incredibly obnoxious. Am I? Yeah, you are. But that's okay because I kind of have a crush on you. Oh, don't you try. <clears throat> what did you say? You heard me. Hey, look. Getting my business shut down is the best thing that's ever happened to me. I mean, I got a job. I'm gonna be fixing cars in a shop across town, and I can't wait. I'm selling some of my old tools to a guy who works here. But if you want to believe that I killed her, you can go right ahead. What, you just, you just gonna stand there all night? Learn to check your ID. What do I do? I'm sorry, Kristen. Your aunt was murdered. Now, with your permission, I need to discuss the autopsy results. Go ahead. As you can see, the impact to her skull was quite severe. Now, for a woman her height falling less than four feet, hitting the side of the tub at this angle, there is no way that her skull would be crushed to that degree. The physics of the situation tells us this was not a slip and fall. Something hit her in the back of the head with an incredible force. Now, one scenario is that the prowler entered the house through an unlocked door. Lisa surprised him. He killed her. He panicked and ran off without stealing anything. Or she was murdered for another reason. Now, Kristen, we spoke to your church regarding your whereabouts at the time of her death. Wait, I'm a suspect? Well, your, your aunt made quite a bit of money in Southern California real estate. You're the sole beneficiary in her will. So you're about to inherit close to $4 million? I loved her more than my own mother. Don't worry. We confirmed your alibi. Several people in the church said you were definitely at the weekend retreat. Can't believe this. Detective, who do you think did this? We don't know. We talked to every neighbor on the block. We, we contacted Lisa's friends and her, her business associates. No one had anything bad to say about her. Well, what about the guy next door, Nick Tompkin? Well, he, uh, he said he was home alone that night, but nobody could verify it. So he, he doesn't have an alibi. He could have done it. He was really pissed at my aunt. Right, Jody? I don't, I don't know about that. That's not what you told me before. She's right, Jody. You said, and I quote, Lisa called the cops on him. Nick was really mad at her. If anybody from this neighborhood would kill her, it would be him. I just don't think he would do something like that. Not anymore. So you're changing your opinion? Yes. Can I ask why? I just have a feeling. A feeling? OK, that's, that's unique. Well, you're not going to arrest him because of what I said, right? Well, we're not going to arrest anyone until we have more evidence. Don't worry, Christy. We're not done yet. We're going to get whoever did this. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, listen, I'm gonna need to get a search warrant. His name is Nick Tompkins. The address is 1821. Hey, can I show you something? Sure. What do you think they're talking about? I know exactly what they're talking about. Ted would hit on me and Aunt Lisa didn't like it. Jody, a lot of older guys hit on me, so what? If they arrested every older guy who tried to sleep with me, they'd have to start building more prisons. Yeah, but look. I mean, he's, like, really mad at Jody, her. stop it. What? Just because someone gets in an argument with my aunt doesn't make them a killer. What is with you? Okay, well, then who do you think did I it? I don't know. I'm still trying to get past the fact that she's gone. This cop tells me that she's been murdered and that I'm a suspect. Then you go around accusing everyone in the neighborhood. Maybe you did it. Jody, I told you to not bother her. She didn't do anything wrong. Just... Kristen, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna go back home. Are you sure? You're more than welcome to stay. I'll let you know if I can't handle it over there. Okay. Thank you for everything, Miss Allen. What did I tell you? Mom, we we just look at this and tell no. me anything. Just please, no, Mom. this is just making it worse. I killed her? I don't. But the cops think you did. You said you were gonna make it look like she slipped and fell. That's exactly what I did. Well, you hit her at the wrong angle or something. They figured it out. Well, maybe you should have done it then. Baby, you know I couldn't have done that. It's not what we talked about. No. What we talked about is I put her lights out and then you give me half. Where's the money? It's in probate. 
It's gonna take some time. Just relax. Relax? Really? How am I supposed to do that? They're gonna figure out what we did. No, they won't. Don't say that, baby. I'm just, I, I'm tired of all this sneaking around, putting 10 hours a day into this lousy job. Do you really think I like going to that church? We have to act normal. Look at the way she's talking to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he looks really mad at her about something. Well, I want to go show Ted these pictures and see what he says. I mean, I, I was hoping that you would come with me. Now? I, I can't. I'm, I'm starting that new job. If I don't hurry, I'm going to be late. If you don't keep it together, you're going to ruin this. That girl across the street, she's watching us. What are you talking about? She's been taking pictures of the entire neighborhood. Do you remember the argument you had with my aunt? When you talk to her the way that you do, Kristen doesn't understand that you're just trying to get in her pants, Ted. It is not what you're thinking. It's exactly what I'm thinking, and I don't like it. Look, I... Stay away from her. I mean it. Jody just showed me pictures of you arguing with Lisa. You look like you're ready to rip her head off. Jody's gonna show those pictures to the cops. You're gonna have to answer more questions. Okay. All right, well, that's, that's why I put together an alibi. Yeah, you see? Went to the movies. I got a ticket stub right here. I snuck out at 8.30, I drove back here, parked it on the way, and nobody saw me. That would have worked if it looked like it was an accident, but now that it's murder, it's not that simple. All right. You're right on. I'm screwed. They're gonna, they're gonna figure out I did this. No, baby, don't say that. Look at me. I'm not gonna let anything happen to you. I've got an idea. Let's go over to Ted's later this afternoon after I get home. Okay. Then afterward, we can go to dinner or something. Well, just come to my house when... Wait, wait a sec. Did you just ask me out? Yeah. And you said yes.
Forget it. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Hey, Mom, can we talk? Yeah, sure. I think Kristen and that guy Ted killed Lisa. Oh, man. First Nick and now these two? I'm serious. Okay. What makes you think that? What does this look like to you? It looks like they went hiking? Yes, I followed them to the woods and they're like totally into each other. They're having an affair, Mom. Did you see them get physical at all? No, but I saw him put his arm around her and then lean in. And then they went behind a tree, so I don't know if they kissed or not. So you can't say for sure. Still, what is a guy his age doing in the woods with someone like her? Honey. I think I should show these pictures to the police. No, you can't. You were stalking them with your camera. Remember what Detective Franklin said? I was right about the shadow, wasn't I? Yes, you were. But this is pushing it. And these pictures don't prove anything. What if you're wrong? What if Ted and Kristen did kill Lisa? She was probably attacked by a burglar, like the detective said. You're my mom! Why can't you just back me up on this? Why can't you believe me? Because you have accused three of our neighbors of being murder suspects. It's too much. Don't you see what you're doing? You are inventing a neighborhood boogeyman to punish your attacker. Honestly? I'm just worried about Nick right now. The cops are looking at him as their number one suspect, partly because of what I said. And I know he didn't do it. We should have done this earlier. We're cutting it close. I'll watch a friend. Be careful. So we don't have to talk to him? Uh, no. Great, because um, I just heard from my dad, and I got to go grab him at LAX. I talked to him yesterday. I didn't think he'd get here so quick. But maybe afterwards, well, me and you can go get dessert or something. OK. <laughs> I want to go to the cops tomorrow, show them the pictures, and tell them everything. And I want you to come with me. Well, why do you want me to go with you? Because, uh, I don't know, I just, I, I, I think it might help your case. Is, is that the only reason? Wh what do you mean? <laughs> what, what other reason? No, I just, I just think that, that you like hanging out with me. I just don't want you to get arrested. That's all. So what, you're just like doing all this because, because you're a concerned citizen? Something like that. No other reason? No. You're sure? I'm not sure um, about anything. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>
You, um, you want to go into the living room? But don't you have to pick up your dad? Not for like an hour. Um, I mean, I, I, I should probably get home. I mean, I've, I've got work and stuff. Um. Yeah. Kristen. Oh, go ahead. Hey, Kristen. Hey, Jody. Did I call at a bad time? Uh, no. Can you come over? I really need to talk to you about something. Right now? Yeah, it's kind of important. Uh, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll be right over. Are you gonna be okay? Mm-hmm. All right, so I'm, I guess I'll see you tonight. Yeah. I'll walk you out. Jody, I just want to apologize for what I said today. Oh, I understand. I know you got a lot on your mind. I've been thinking about Nick. I think you're right. Why is that? Because of what you said to the cop. I mean, he did hate my aunt. No, I shouldn't have said that. Jody, you understand people. You see things with your camera. I was wrong about him. Like I told the cops, I just, I changed my mind. Why did you change your mind? Why did you change yours? I saw you kissing him. You know, Jody, sex can cloud your judgment. Really? How? You know. No, I don't know. Why don't you explain it to me? Wait, you're not still a virgin, are you? <sighs> no, I'm not. Oh, my God. Tell me all about him. What is he like? He was a complete stranger. I never would have guessed. I mean, you seem so sweet and innocent. I'll make a deal with you. I'll tell you who I'm sleeping with if you tell me who you're sleeping with. I'm not sleeping with anyone. I'm going to save that for marriage. Good luck with that. Thanks for coming over, Jody. Hi. I'm Jody. I live across the street. Is Nick here? Yeah. Come on in. I'm his dad, Eddie. It's nice to meet you. Nick, you got company. So, you're the girl who accused my son of killing the nice lady next door. Well, actually... Let me tell you something. You're wrong. I got the greatest kid in the world. No, no, Mr. Tompkins, that's actually when right. When he was this tall, he used to follow his mother around, helping her with the housework, scrubbing the floors. Everybody he meets, he tries to do something good for them. You ha talk to any of his friends. Tell okay, you dad, 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 she gets it. Thank, thank you, though. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks. Dad, aren't you, like, jet-lagged? Don't you need to sleep or something? Yeah, lagged. Don't Rest is up. I'm tired. <clears throat> Hi. Hi. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Wait. I forgot something. Mr. Tompkin, I have a court order to search your premises. Excuse me. Whoa, 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 whoa. You guys take the back. 
What's this? He's got a warrant. I don't know. You got a warrant? Yeah. Can you explain this? I've never seen that before. Well, it looks like blood and human hair. Bag it. We're going to take it down to our lab to run some tests on it, along with some other items. Oh, so someone must have put that there. Well, what, you're arresting him? Oh, we're going to ask him a few questions. We've got a lot to talk about. Nick, don't say anything till we get an attorney. Keep your I'll mouth shut for once. Oh, wait, no, 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 detective. I have to show you some pictures, OK? He didn't do it. It was Kristen. She's having an affair with her neighbor, Ted. Yeah, yeah Michelle. Look, I followed them into the woods. I think after they killed Lisa, they buried the pipe and then dug it up and planted it in Nick's garage. Jody, let's be honest here, OK? Now, I don't know if you're saying this to protect your boyfriend or you're having another one of your feelings. Neither one of them are credible. Now, if you'll excuse me. OK, Mr. Tompkin, thank you for letting me know. The blood on the pipe tested positive for Lisa Miller's DNA. They arrested Nick. What was it doing in his garage? Ted and Kristen are framing him. What? You don't think he did it, do you? I don't know. But how can you be so sure that he didn't do it? You don't know him like I do. Honey, you met him three weeks ago. You barely know him yourself. Don't you think I want to believe you? But you're not looking at the facts that the police have I know what I saw, Mom. I'm not going to let Nick take the fall for what they did. Just come to the station with me. I want you to hear it from Nick. Sure, I was pissed at Mrs. Miller. But you know, then I realized she was right. I got over it. I wasn't mad at her anymore. What about your alibi? I was at home that night, watching a movie on TV. That's the truth. Miss Allen, I mean, this isn't exactly the way that I wanted to meet you. And I know it looks really bad. But I swear, I didn't kill her. Jody brought me here because she thought you might say something to convince me that you're innocent. And I guess that didn't happen. Mom, please. Nick, if you can't prove to me that you didn't do it, how are you going to prove it to a jury? Maybe I can't. Maybe I'm going to spend the next 50 years of my life in here. No. I mean, no, what I don't get is, is how you could. Never mind. What? Say it. You're her mother. What's your point? Jody's smart, courageous, beautiful. And she got all those qualities from you. So I'm just trying to understand how you can look her in the eye right now and see that reflection in yourself and not believe her. Okay, let's say for a minute that you're right. There's still no proof that Kristen and Ted did it. Have you thought about that? Yes, I have been racking my brain trying to figure this out. I mean, talking to Detective Franklin was no use. You've got to try something more. Like what? What about this? I'll follow Kristen and you follow Ted. No. Yes, Mom, we'll, we'll get you a camera. I mean, they're bound to make a mistake if Jody. Should... No. It'll only cause more trouble. I'm sure that Nick's dad will hire the best possible lawyer, and if they need to get a deposition from you, they will. And in the meantime, you are not going to go spying on them anymore. You can't tell me what to do. Oh, yes, I can. And you're not leaving the house until you've calmed down. Wait, you're grounding me? 
You've never done that before. Well, I'm doing it now. Hey, you hungry? I was gonna make us some lunch. No, I'm okay. Um, I'm just gonna finish retouching this photo. But I'm, I'm kind of tired, so I'm just gonna lay down for a little bit. Okay. Hey, Mom? Yeah. I'm sorry about the way I talked to you last night. Sweetie, it's okay. We've had a rough couple of weeks. Um, you want the door closed? Please. Okay. Met, uh, no, I, I know who you are. Oh. Well, then you probably know why I'm here. Can I come in? I'm sorry, I was just running out the door. Look, Nick Tomkin is probably going to spend the rest of his life in jail for something that he didn't do. We're, we're kind of together, and he was arrested before we could go on an actual date, but... Look, Mr. Wilcox, if there's anything that you can do to help Nick, I'm... Please, I'm... I'm... I'm begging you. Jody, that boy killed a dear friend of mine. I'm sorry. I have an appointment at the bank here, but... I'm sorry. Uh, it's my contact. It's out of place. Can I just... Can I use your bathroom just for a second, please? Of course. It's to the right. Thank you. That was nice to meet you. Yes, a pleasure. Hey, sweetie, I brought you some food. Jody? Jody? Jody?
Hey, baby. Hey. Mm. Bank account is open. Good. I've got something to show you. Surprise. Uh huh. Fifty grand. Where'd you get that? The college fund she left me. Her money's starting to roll in. Perfect. Mm. It's all working out. Yes, it's incredible. We're gonna leave here, and we're gonna get our beach house. Everything we've always wanted. Everything. I've got something else for you. Oh, do you? right now. Call me back. Get in. You're driving. Give me your phone. Give me your phone! Tell me you're all right. I'm at Kristen's front door right now. What the hell are you doing driving Ted's car? First neck and now these two? What is a guy his age doing in the woods with someone like her? These pictures don't prove anything. What if you're wrong? What if Ted and Kristen did kill Lisa? Go too fast. They're gonna know you killed Ted. What was that, Detective? Did I hear the gunshot from Ted's house? No, I didn't. Suicide, oh my god, that's so tragic. I know he loved his wife very much. He was really distraught when she left him. going straight.
911, what's your emergency? I think my daughter is being kidnapped. Ma'am, when they come to a stop, call us back and tell us where you are. We'll dispatch someone right away. That might be too late. We will get there as soon as we can, ma'am. Exit up here. That dirt road up ahead. Pull over there. Get out. This way. Go! your camera down. Um, smash it. I told everyone you and Ted were hiking out here. Shut up and do what I say. You're gonna bury me? Do it! Digging. Congratulations.
lot of people have asked me why we moved to this neighborhood. <laughs> Three months ago, I was alone in our condo, and this man broke in. He messed me up pretty bad. And it was even worse for my mom, because she saw the whole thing, but she couldn't do anything to stop him. So, we decided to leave the city. My mom sold the condo, we packed up, and here we are. And that is the official reason why we moved here. I'm glad you told me. I was afraid to. You had nothing to worry about. Know what I think? What? I think the real reason I moved here is because I really need a good mechanic. My car isn't making this weird noise. Can you help me out?